your publisher has the responsibility of publishing your work. After that, the responsibility of sharing it, the responsibility of distributing it, the responsibility of making it available to your readers so that you can explore them and come up with citations, cite your work, at least so that you being the author then will have some citations to yourself from your work. That responsibility belongs to you. So because of that, I want to talk very briefly on how you could use social media platforms now to publish or to share your journal articles and promote readership and citations, okay? Thank you for visiting my channel. Kindly subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. I am Ojo somewhere by name. Now, the first place you should go is LinkedIn. LinkedIn is a professional networking platform where you can share your research with colleagues and potential collaborators. The link of your article then can be imputed in your post or even in the relevant group. So if you if you need to go to LinkedIn, just go to your address bar, type com. Once you get into LinkedIn, then you can set yourself up from there, profile yourself there, put up posts on each of the of the publications you've done, put the link Especially when you are coming up with the abstract, rephrase the abstract, come up with the results of your findings. If there are any data that you use, put them up there and put the link to the article there. Then put it up as a post. So with that, you will be able to develop readership. People get to know about it. People get to read about it. In that sense, you will be promoting your publication. The second place is on Twitter. Twitter is, is a popular platform for sharing research articles, okay? And connecting with other researchers. People use it, especially for community discussion. They use it to share ideas, make discussion and all that. But you could you make use of it for, for your articles and to better your, yourself in terms of citation. Share your articles there, share, share the link to increase the visibility of your publication. So the link to that, you can just go to Twitter, twitter.com. Then when you get in there, profile yourself, start making tweets around your publication. Make Start making tweets around your articles. Come up with tweets around your abstract and the findings. Then build communities, okay? For instance, I've made a discovery. You put it in your tweet, put the link there and just tweet about it. Then you will see the like mind readers, okay? They start exploring. It is from readership. Now, if you're able to amaze to yourself as many readership as possible, there are tendencies that you'll be able to have citations to yourself. Another one that I want to talk about is Facebook. Try building a household name for yourself. Okay? And that is on Facebook. Have a page for yourself. If Facebook is a popular social media platform, okay? share your research with broad audience. You can share your article link as a post on your personal or professional page. Okay. Or in, in relevant groups. You could join as many relevant groups, especially in your related feeds. Okay. Join them. Okay. Just go to Facebook.com. Instead of going to Facebook and, and for the purpose of just making discussion and all that, you can make best use of the Facebook. Facebook.com, when you get in there, sign up, after signing up, okay, start making posts around your findings, okay, start making posts around your findings, which that you'll be good for you at the end of the day, at least you're you going to generate readership for your articles, you come up with a post regarding the findings you've done, you come up with a post, a, a Facebook post regarding the outcome of your findings, Come on, even if there are suggestions you want to make, make the suggestion over there. From that, you get to build community of like-minded researchers, like-minded authors. And another place where you have the privileges of even uploading your, your content is ResearchGate. I don't joke with this social media platform, especially when I'm working for people, okay? It's a social networking platform for researchers and scientists. You share your articles. You upload it, connect with other researchers, and receive feedback, real-time feedback on your work, okay? That's researchgate.net. Just go to researchgate.net. Let me. So when you get in there, you can you can open open an account for yourself, log in, open an account for yourself, join for free. You know, then upload the articles there, make it available. Then people get to read more about it. The more your readership increases, the more you'll be able to have citation. The last one I want to talk about is academia. Academia.edu. You have more readers. On academia okay so when you go on academia open up an account there you can see that you can download other people's uh, publications to put, pull up your publications as well to the place when you pull it up there people get to read about it and you obviously know readership is the ingredient for citation once people read more about it the, the likeliness of the citation increment okay the last one is Mendeley, okay? The Mendeley is Mendeley is a reference manager and social network for researchers. You can share your research 
with colleagues, discover new research and track your citation. And to do that, just go to their address. When you get to mendy.com, what you need to do is sign up there with your, you can see, Mendy brings your research to life so you can make an impact on tomorrow, okay? So you can search article, profile yourself, and it's, it's free, absolutely free, okay? Create an account for yourself, upload the articles there, then you get to meet more like-minded authors. From there, you build your readership base and your citation increases. So at the end of the day, when you come on Google Scholar, all you'll be seeing is an increment in in your citation metrics. The effort you have put into it by uh, by sharing your articles across platforms to increase readership and end citations, come to your Google Scholar account and see the number of citations that you've, you've gathered for yourself. Oh, wow. They come in here and they see uh, this person has been able to gather tens of thousands of citations. They, they don't want to ask you, okay, where did you post or where did you share your articles? How were you able to get it? Nobody would want to bother you about that, okay? So all those efforts you could, I mean, all those publications that you have made, it is not all about having them all on your publisher's site. So long they are open access journal, pull them up and share them across platform, build your readership base, build your readership community, and build your citation from there. Thank you very much for listening. Kindly subscribe for more like this.